Good morning. A good afternoon. Bonjour, no. Uh, bonjour. Wherever you happen to be joining us from, it doesn't matter what time of day it is, afternoon or night. Welcome to this edition of Talk with Taz Live. So much is happening, and as I've been thinking about life and what it really means, what permeated with me was this sense of false confidence. And so I want you to walk with me today and let's see where we end up when we think about false confidence. Which do you prefer, a PC or a Mac? Is there really any difference? Both are complex and ease the rate at which we can work. They both add what 60, 70 years ago would have been viewed as unattainable value to almost everything or every aspect of our lives. Although they can provide information as quickly as we can type or speak the commands, there's still a mystery that cannot provide our basic human needs of safety and comfort. We meet these needs through our relationships. However, now and then, these interactions are ritualistic. They don't have any meaning, but we still call them relationships. Sometimes this occurs because we think the sacrifices we make are sufficient to demonstrate our loyalty and our love. It's as if we believe our sacrifices and that ritual way that we show that we quote unquote, love someone or love something can replace the real knowledge and understanding that is needed to foster an actual relationship. Hmm. Our PCs and Macs are inanimate objects that we often imitate when we become analytically focused and dismissive in our search for solutions and answers. Relationships cannot be purely analytically or scientifically driven. If you're looking for safety and security, comfort or a sense of well-being in an otherwise chaotic world, our minds will tell us a relationship cannot flourish, while our hearts will reassure us it will flourish. In some life circumstances, we have to determine whether we are all in or we're all out. We can't straddle the fence. We can't compromise. The nature of man is emotional. The nature of man is emotional. It's not scientific. We're feeling beings. Therefore, when we learn too much, when we lean too much towards our logical world, we slowly lose our courage our resolve, our desire, and our strength to seek the right resolution to our concerns or needs. In other words, we think we're winning when in fact we are losing. Samson is an example of winning the battles, but losing the war. Samson is an example of how someone can win the battles, but lose the war. This occurred because Samson focused on his victories, but forgot the one who made him victorious. He focused on victories and not the one who made him victorious. We often forget we have to repent also and start afresh so that our relationships remain strong and we do not rest on our laurels as Samson did. This is our responsibility. This is our responsibility. It's my responsibility and your responsibility alone. And I would rather honor my responsibilities than not. How about you? How about you? Where is your heart beat? What does your heart beat for? Are you beating your heart? Is it beating 
for the battle, the battles, or is it beating for the war? Are you living for victories? Are you living for the one who will make you victorious? You have a decision to make. This has been Talk with Taz Live. As always, have a great day and take care of you. Bye now.